What is up guys, back here again with a new vlog. I hope you guys are doing good, as you can tell. I am pumping fuel. I'm actually gonna wait for my dad as well. We're gonna head up, dead head, both of us going up to Georgia. Um, to pick up a load tomorrow, going up to Georgia as well. You know, it's, it's a Georgia, it's a Georgia to Georgia load. Now, let me clear something up for some of you guys because it seems like some of you guys don't want to understand or you guys um, are misunderstanding me. Ask anybody, ask around. A lot of guys have to dead head out of Miami. I am not the only guy that does that. A lot of, a lot of us owner operators have to do that. And the reason for that is because there is a no load. And if there is a load, they want to pay very, very cheap. You know, so I don't, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather not take a $600, $700 load up to Atlanta from Miami paying me $1 a mile. I am not gonna do that. I'd rather go up empty, relax with no stress at all. That's just me. If you guys are the type that you guys like to, you know, book cheap loads, by all means, that's, that's, that's you. I don't do that. To me, it's not worth booking a cheap load, running the risk, running the chance of something happening to make what, $100? That's not me, guys. I'd rather say no to cheap freight. So, nothing. Uh, just want to let you guys know that I am not the only guy that has to deadhead out of Miami. A lot of us owner operators, even company drivers, even big companies, they send their drivers out of Miami empty because they don't have freight to move around. I know it sucks. We're probably living in the wrong location to work, but it is what it is. I'm, I live in Miami. I've been here all my life. And I've, I've thought about leaving, but hasn't happened yet. So for now, if I have to dead head out, then I'm guessing we'll have to dead head out. You know, it is what it is. Nothing, guys. I, I just wanted to clear that because every time I, I, I post a video and I say that I'm dead heading, a lot of you guys, you know, you guys start commenting, this, oh, I'm losing money, this and that. I know I'm losing money. I know that I'm not making money. But I'd rather not make money than having the chance of making a hundred bucks and risking so, so much, so much, you know, so many things, you know? That's just me, that's just the way I work. I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. Anyways, like I said, I am waiting for my dad. Uh, he should be here anytime soon. And we are shooting up to Savannah, Georgia. I'm loading like 15 miles away from Savannah. My dad is loading like 10 miles away from Savannah as well. Uh, we are both going to I think the town, the name of the town is Carton or something like that. I'm not 100% sure if that's the town or if that's how you say it, but I will let you guys know as soon as I get my paperwork. It's like 240 miles away from from Savannah. You know, I'm going, it's, it's like, if I'm not mistaken, it's like 50 miles away from Atlanta. So it's not that bad. The, the rate actually paid very, very well for being such a short run that you know, it's why not do it, you know? Anyways, after there, I'm trying to book a load going either up to New York or going to Texas. We'll see how that goes. So, let's just finish pumping fuel and let's get the night started.
next day here guys so last night we were able to make it into Kingsland Georgia this is exit one of Georgia um, I am literally 112 miles away from my pickup location my dad is actually loading like 12 or 13 14 miles apart from where I'm gonna be loading after that we're gonna be leaving tonight we're gonna take I-16 going uh, going up to 75 so we can go to Atlanta my dad is gonna unload tomorrow in the morning um, like 50 60 miles away from Atlanta and I'm gonna do the same thing but on I-20 my dad's gonna keep my dad's gonna continue on I-75 and I'm gonna take I-20 we don't have any loads yet going to Texas but the plan is uh, if we both get to unload tomorrow early to book a load from Atlanta going back down to Texas we'll see how that goes hopefully it goes as planned I just did a I just did a, a pre-trip inspection and nothing guys it's 11 in the morning now and I'm gonna start the day well, I'm not gonna start the day I'm gonna finish the day because after I get loaded I'm gonna rest till like 9 10 o'clock at night I'm only like 280 miles away from point A to point B so I can do that in like four hours and 30 minutes so I am in no rush at all now with all that said um, yeah let's just hit the road let's see how, how the day takes us location here in uh, Rincon, Georgia it's like 12 miles west of Savannah, Georgia and the place is actually perfect it's a big place to park uh, the only thing that sucks is that they ask for you to uh, disengage you know to unhook your truck from your trailer and I don't mind doing it I don't like doing it but I don't mind doing it except that today it's freaking raining and I don't know where the hell I put my raincoat at so that's why I'm all wet now I'm drenched in water freaking sucks because it's pouring it's not even raining light it's pouring but whatever it is what it is i already got my well, i've been at my door for two hours i came i did my check-in they actually wait your truck before you actually park so that's good because if you're overweight by the time you leave they'll figure it out you don't have to go somewhere and then you know come back and stuff like that i wish every place or we should i wish i wish every place was like that you know they have their own scale where you can actually wait the truck before you actually leave a lot of these places don't do that they don't have that so they tell you to leave and then if you're overweight you have to come back but if you're close by to a scale it's fine but some of these places don't have scales for 40 50 miles away so it sucks that you have to come back 40 50 miles that's not cool anyways uh been here park for two hours now had to wait for my unit to cool down negative 10 degrees we're good on that what else what else nothing guys as soon as i'm done loading all i'm gonna do is just go ahead and and uh and park here in the side they have a big par a parking spot i'm gonna park there and just relax and i'll probably head out around 8 p.m i have 314 miles just a bit more than what i thought it was but that's fine it's not a big deal it's only like like another 40 miles from what i would from what i was thinking so it's all right it's not uh it's not like we're gonna die for that you know um i still have not found a low going to texas i was looking for something now for me and for my dad as well we haven't been able to find anything but i guess that tomorrow will be another day it is currently like three o'clock now I'm, st I'm gonna keep on looking but if we don't figure something out then tomorrow will be another day let me show you guys how bad it's raining you, know, you guys can tell the camera does justice but it's pouring pretty bad 
anyways guys let's stay tuned and let's see how long they take um i am not a big fan of this load this is a minus 10 degrees load but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do at the load if the load pays right i'll do it you know um you guys know that i don't, I don't really like to carry uh frozen stuff but the rate was right and uh the distance wasn't that far so why not anyways enough of the talking let's relax and let's see how long they take okay so let me get you guys up to speed i loaded actually a few hours ago i just parked here in the side and just went to see because i was a little tired you guys know that i i always book my loads of uh with a little bit of time so i can rest and i can go relax anyways i'm about to head out and start my night it's like 10 30 now um and i have 314 miles to my destination i'm actually gonna go ahead and sleep at my location i was looking it up on google maps and it looks like there's plenty of space for me to park somewhere and uh not bother anybody at all so um pretty much five hours away that's that's not bad at all it says that if i leave now non-stop i'll be there at 2 20 in the morning so with all that said uh, let's get the road let's start pushing miles back and let's uh let's see how the night takes us oh i'm gonna be meeting my dad uh few miles down so stay tuned for that as well you have something to say man oh man i don't have to it's, it's freaking good man <laughs> So we have reached our destination where we're going to be sleeping at, right there. Um, the entrance to the location is over there and it's actually very big but there's a gate that's closing the entrance. So that sucks. Um, I, I wasn't able to see it on Google Maps, you know, so if not, I would have never come over here. But whatever it is, what it is. My appointment is for 7 p.m. I got moved. It was for, for noon, but now they moved it for 7 p.m. I don't know what happened. Regardless, I'm going to try and uh, you know, do my check-in at 8 in the morning. Um, let them know that I'm here. Hopefully, they can work me in throughout the whole day, and I'll be good. Obviously, for the error, um, broker is going to give me more money. But it sucks because I think they, they, they top out at like 250 bucks. But um, I mean, it works. It's not that it's not it's not that it's bad, but I'd rather not get the 250 bucks and find another load and keep moving, you know. But if we have to stay, then we have to stay. I'm not. This road is not too too big, but I should be good for now. Obviously, at eight in the morning, I have to get up and move it. You know, go inside the warehouse so I can move out the way and not be in the middle of the road right now because there's no traffic going up and down, but. Once, once traffic starts to swing by, it's gonna suck. Um, I have a seal on, so I can't show you. It's actually a frozen load. Totally sucks. I dislike these types of load, but you know, when it's when it's such a short run like this one, and they pay well, I, I always do them. Plus, I like to do them every now and then because like that, I know I can work the machine and make sure the machine is working properly. So right now, I have it set at minus negative 10 degrees, and I have it in cycle mode. See, once it reaches, I think like zero, it starts again, and then it lowers down to negative 10, and then so on and so on, you know? But um, yeah, let's go to sleep before uh, we get some type of weird creature coming out of the dark. <laughs> Right, guys so i finally got my door and i told you guys that my delivery was for seven this delivery was actually supposed to be for seven in the morning and they changed it to 7 p.m um well in reality i don't know if it was like that or if it was an error or what happened but i know that i was supposed to be here at seven in the morning 
and I got changed over to 7 p.m. I did talk to the broker. Um, we haven't discussed what he's gonna pay me or not. He's probably gonna pay me an extra 200 bucks or 150 bucks. They usually don't pay more than that. We'll see. Hopefully, he pays me more, but I doubt it. Um, they did put me in door five right now. It's currently 3 p.m. They put me as a walk-in or, or yeah, a late walk-in or something like that, I don't know, whatever, just to try to get me unloaded faster and earlier before 7 p.m. Now, let me show you guys this location. Sorry, super, super tight. It may seem big, but trust me, it is not big at all. And having a big truck like I do, makes it even worse. I always ask myself, I wonder how people with the big, you know, those big, big sleepers, I wonder how they do it. Because I don't have a big, big sleeper. I mean, I have a regular size sleeper, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about like those full sleepers that have bathrooms and everything inside. How do they do it? Because those trucks are big as hell too. Anyways, yeah, like I said, the, the place may look big, but in reality, it's not big at all. So, um, let's see how long they take here. Hopefully, it don't take too, too long. And we can turn this reefer off and uh, relax for the rest of the day because we will be loading tomorrow in Fairburn, Georgia. It's like 40 miles away from here, so we'll see how that goes. Finally done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank God. Thank God they were able to unload me um, before 7 o'clock. Um, sucks that I was not able to unload earlier but hey it is what it is and it sucks because um i wasn't able to find something for today but the good news is that i'm able i already found something for tomorrow so that's good let's check the trailer make sure that we don't have any damage that we don't know about Thank God that we've done a few trips and my uh, my air duct is still intact. Thanks to uh, this right here. Uh, gotta clean this up a bit.